we are here for the unveiling of the April issue of Society Magazine, and we have the ladies over here who are doing the honors. Shalmani Gorgore, Gorgare, Gorgare, Shalmani Gorgare, who has taken Bollywood by storm, right from Sufi numbers, easy numbers, romantic numbers, and happy numbers. You're rocking it all the way, Salmani. Thank, Thank you so much for the lovely songs you've given. We have Kanika, the gorgeous Kanika, who's just come into Hollywood and sit as she has stepped in. We're rocking all the way. We walk this baby doll, Chitya Kalaya, lovely, and still more to come. I'm sure this is many more. Mira Gandhi, who has specially flown in from New York, she is the co-associate of the Stardust. Concert happening in London this September, and these two lovely sponsors. Okay, so Giving Back Foundation. She is the owner of the Giving Back Foundation, and she's come back all the way from New York to unveil this April issue and to announce the Sardis concert. Mr. Nari here, who doesn't need an introduction, he is the person who introduces a lot of stars and we have seen them all, and the editor of Society. Suchitra Iyer. Can we have a big round of applause? Thank you so much. And now for the unveiling, I. How's everyone doing? ठीक हैं आप सब ठीक हैं ठीक हैं कि नहीं हैं? One door here, okay. All right. So you said it's been a while though. It's 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 been two years and I think two years is a long time. You're right. It didn't strike me that it's been long. So I sang Parishan first. I didn't know what playback was before I sang Parishan, and I learned a lot of things from. Singing behind a mic in a studio, from singing in clubs and uh, restaurants, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's what I did uh, while I was in college. And from then to uh, sing a playback song, uh, and then that playback song, being Parishan, doing well, getting more work, and that work doing well. I think it's been an amazing journey for me so far, and I'm very grateful to everyone who's been a part of my life. Who made that happen? Uh, and I hope that I do get to sing more songs for you, because those songs are for you as much as they are for me, and you continue to like them. So Parishan really has taken away the Parishanis of. Oh, that most definitely. And put in some more Parishanis of preparing for the songs, Absolutely. live shows. How do you prepare for the live shows? I'm a. I, I call myself the big planner. I love planning and. Uh, I'm really excited. Uh, the, every time I get to know that a show has been planned for three months from now, I get down to chalking things out and seeing what I want to do when and what kind of music I want to play, what kind of audience there will be. So uh, I love it, it. It's not only the singing that I'm preparing for, but the entire act, and that's what I enjoy the most. So, so what should everyone be expecting at the concert in London? Uh, I'm really happy to say that this will be my first show in London. So I don't know what a London audience is like, though I'm studying what the London audience will be like. And uh, it's quite crazy. It's, it's quite crazy. crazy. That's what I've heard. Yeah. I've heard. I might just do a trip to London to see what the crowd is like. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a fanatic that way. I really want to know everything. Um, but this show um, is special for me again because I get to prepare for it five months in advance, and that means that I can put a lot of thought into it. I want to sing. Yes, I will be singing, and uh, I want to make sure that the time I'm on stage, I have everyone gripped to the performance. 
which will not only be uh, an oral performance, it will be a visual performance, which means that you will be gripped through the duration of my singing there. And I'm sure that that applies to Kanika and Harshdeep also, who have such amazing songs of a different variety. And variety is what I think that show is going to bring us that day. Yeah, a lot of musical variety. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much for uh, this opportunity. And uh, well, uh, London is, is a very, it's an amazing audience. Uh, it's, it's, you know, a lot of Punjabis, uh, they all like really must, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. They all go crazy. They all look forward to these shows, to be honest. So it's going it, to, it will be a packed out show because people look forward to such shows. You know, we all, I mean, I've been going for all the shows for so many years, so I can imagine how, you know, everyone's very excited about it. So put together, so. they have put their money in the right bet. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so. anything special you're preparing for this particular concert? Well, I, I, Publications, Artist concert well I, have an, uh, I have a whole act in mind, which, of course, I want to uh, integrate uh, my own songs till today, and I have quite a few songs coming in the next two, three months. Awesome. Uh, that and then uh, I'll mix with old and new. I'll, you know, I, I'm cre I've created something really interesting already. So. Thank you so much. Meera is here, especially from New York, being a part of this concert. What what made you come in in association to sponsor this uh, concert with Stardust? Well, um, I've known Nari Hira and Prashant Rane for many years now, about 20 years, and I think that um, Nari is known to really be. Uh, a visionary. He understands the importance to bring philosophy, uh, to bring philanthropy with mainstream entertainment because uh, philanthropy is important. It's important to give back. It's important that we think about people who have less. We should think about leveling the playing field. And what better way to do it than a collaboration between the Giving Back Foundation and Stardust Magna show in um, in London. So I think it's just going to be an awesome, awesome collaboration <coughs> to bring the glamour back into philanthropy. Awesome, and you're a prime example of that. <laughs> 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 so what, what exactly, uh, when you say giving back foundation, what areas or which particular sections of society do you, do you focus on something or it's like a if you can tell us something about that. Oh, thank you. That's a good question. Uh, the Giving Back Foundation's mission is the empowerment and education of the girl child and the creation of women leaders in the future. And so with this all-star, very strong women power that are going to perform, we think it's just going to be an outstanding way to showcase women role models abroad. Uh, because I've often found that uh, for the Indian young girls, there aren't really that many role models. I mean, there's Mother Teresa, but I think Mother Teresa's Albanian, she's not even Indian. So I think that now that our country has come of age, we are showing leadership everywhere. I think it's great to showcase um, women power and women leaders on a global stage. And I think September 5th in London will achieve just that. Oh, we're going to have a round of applause for that. Thank you for very beautifully put together. Very beautifully put together. Mr. Hira, anything you are expecting out of this concert? No, it's, I'm very happy the way it's going. In fact, having three young girls, I'd like to claim is my idea. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of these old fogies, let's have some three attractive girls. Even I didn't realize how attractive but they were till I saw them. I'm only going to see a heartbeat and I'll know they've done the right thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> and Harshdeep again, I'm sure she's missing this action today. Yeah. Because interacting with you, all you people over here and I'm sure she would be preparing something special as well. Uh, are you girls planning something to be on stage together like three of you together? Sure, no, that's no. I think we'll okay. that's a surprise. <laughs> that's a surprise. Well, for me it's uh, Shubha Bhagraji and uh, I mean I, I love the voice and the style of singing and I've been listening <coughs> to her since I was a kid. So. Uh, does it have to be from India? It's Amy Winehouse. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you seem to already know all the answers. You have this <laughs> smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. My questions for Kanika. 
you've been giving the audience many rocking chart busters. So, are there any plans of singing from other genres as well? Yes, I mean, I've already started with Chilga and Nena. I don't know if you've heard from NH10. Uh, which was very different to the, the Punjabi masala that I do, I have been doing. Uh, no, and I have a lot of different kind of music coming up now, a lot of Sufi, uh, ballads, just, just a bit of everything. So yeah, you will be hearing a lot of different stuff now, before the summer. Well, you know, I, I, I've never been really a model, to be honest. I don't know, I mean, I read that about myself sometimes and I wonder why. Um, but living in London, I, being exposed to the fashion world out there, I was uh, just doing it for fun. Um, I, I've, yes, walked the ramp for the Couture Week for in Milan for Alberta Ferretti, which is one of the biggest, you know, very well-known designers in the world, um, and more. So I've, I've done work with Vogue in Italy, and I was quite, in, you know, into the whole fashion scene in Milan for a couple of years. But it was not exactly modeling, it was more being like a muse for brands and and be, just being the, a part of the whole fashion scene. And yes, I, I'd love to uh, do some more fashion work in India. I mean, it's quite new for me. So. How does it feel to be on the cover of society? Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> Kanika, you want to go first? No, I'll, I'll let you. you let me. Okay, then. Well, let me answer that. So Look at them. They're looking so gorgeous on the magazine cover. Oh, dear. So, I'm sure I'm the people will be telling them. Thank yeah. you. And now, of course. I'm feeling really shy that you asked me that question. Does that explain, is that a comment at all? It, I'm, I'm really, who will not be happy being on the cover of society? I think... Uh, I think you're fishing for compliments. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, it, uh, it makes me... When I uh, removed the cover right now, I felt like I have to up my game here on. I'm on the cover of society. I have to do much better than where I am right now. That's the first thing I thought of. Uh, well, for me, um, you know, just being 12 <laughs> months old in... in you know, in Mumbai, in, in Bollywood, in this whole musical world, uh, reading India's hottest singer, singing sensation was like, what? Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's, it's very humbling for me and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very happy <coughs> and very thankful that, uh, you know, I've been chosen to, uh, to be a part of this. Parishan made your overnight star. <laughs> so how much of your success do you attribute from his premiere? A lot of it because he's the one who recognized that I could sing a Hindi song at all because he judged uh, my uh, singing based on two English songs that I had sent him as demos. So uh, I think uh, he, he was the spark and that spark made the fire. Sorry, excuse me for that. I think it's, it's not Amit Trivedi. <laughs> that would be fun to hear if it were Amit Trivedi. Um, but yes, you are absolutely right. There is no day in my life that I say thank you to Amit Trivedi. So how about singing a few lines? Of Pareshan? Yeah, dedicating it to Amit Trivedi. All right. <coughs> <coughs> who are singing now. Now, what do you think? These singers can become actresses? <laughs> 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 yeah, I said in 2009, How you know everything? <laughs> Is it that the acting career didn't take off, so you became a singer? Or <coughs> no, you thought, be sing let me become a singer first and then I'll start acting? The thing is that, and you will find this funny, I was giving my board exams in the 12th standard and there was a four day break between two papers. And my sir called me from school. Some strange things happen in life. 
and he said do you want to give an acting audition i said okay sir i have four days break between the next paper so i gave a, an audition and i found out that i landed the part the first lead in an east indian film so it was an east indian film and i did it and uh, i don't think i did a good job okay, so i'm very I critical i don't okay. think i did a good job though i know that i am a, i could be a good actor if i took it seriously because i have a theater background um, not that that didn't work out to ye kiya but i genuinely really liked singing a lot more so i <laughs> <laughs> if something great comes up no one's going to say no to that not me at least uh, <laughs> she's got two self film signed already <laughs> <laughs> you have right what two two films are signed already na as an actor who said <laughs> <laughs> who told you <laughs> so anika uh, Well, I already finished the film. It's called Giving Back, and it fo follows the journey of ten people. Um, Kerry Ken Kennedy is in it, and she talks about um, rights for women and girl children. Bono is in it, and Bono talks about rights for women in Africa. Uh, Princess uh, Homaira Selye from Paris is in it, and her vignette talks about the healing of the sexually abused girl child. Um, but it's not all dire; it's quite uplifting. It's a fun movie. It did really, really well, um, and it opens actually right here in Baikula at Mother Teresa's home. So it was really great for me to come back and open my film right here in Bombay, and I had a lot of support from. Uh, Devin Khote and Ronnie Screwala and all my school buddies who did nothing for me in school but definitely <laughs> <laughs> were, were very very supportive of the film. Um, did you do something similar in Bollywood? Well, I, I just upstairs. <coughs> I just was starting to talk to Nari because I, uh, through the foundation, we sponsor the Giving Back Award at the Woodstock Film Festival. Um, which recognizes an actor, producer, director who brings a body of work to produce positive social change. And I'm thinking this might be the time to bring the Giving Back Award to Bollywood. So um, I think the time is right. Who do you consider as your mentor in Bollywood? <coughs> uh, I have really looked up to Sonidhi Chauhan a lot. And uh, though once I just put up a Facebook post saying I wish I get to meet Sunidhi Chauhan someday and many people wrote saying I'll give you her address and <laughs> here is her number you know but for me it's not so much as being being an easy access pass to go and meet Sunidhi Chauhan but I, I felt like she should be untouchable I shouldn't approach her but I think uh, I called her husband eventually who, who I worked with in the past and I said please can you ask her if it's okay if I just came and sat with her so recently I had a sit down chat with uh, Sunidhi Chauhan where I, I just asked her so many questions and I think she got bored eventually but uh, <laughs> but uh, she I can call her my mentor in a way because I really look up to her. Kanika, since you have recently recorded Song on Cricket, so tell us something about that. Well, uh, that came by <coughs> just uh, all of a sudden, I mean I was doing some work with Universal and uh, they called me and they said we have this um, this song which is already a, a very big song uh, in its own right with Alesso uh, and we'd like to do just a little theme song for cricket and uh, let's give it a try. Um, we gave it a try and it's been mixed by Alesso so it's a song We Could Be Heroes which is a very big song in, its, in itself and uh, we've done a little Hindi version of it. So that's how uh, um, the whole song happened. Uh, which other singer, female singer do you think is among the top in the industry? I got so many, <laughs> <laughs> so many. <laughs> oh my God, I'm back. <laughs> I let you go. Uh, I think a, a, a lot of people, as you know, are really good. Um, one of my favorites is Neeti Mohan. I think she would be quite good. on top. Yes. <coughs> I like the husky voice, so I like uh, you know Jasmine Sandler's and I don't know if I'm pr pronouncing it right. She, I've heard some of her acapellas and I think she's quite different. 
uh, and many more I would say I mean you know there's a lot of talent yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Meera, are you launching your own perfume line? yes I am a little bit about it um, my fragrance is called giving and um, it's it's an I've been working with a French lab on it for the last two and a half years it's it's outstanding it's got lavender patchouli cinnamon um, I think it's a fragrance that will translate anywhere it can be sold in the Far East it can be sold in the Western world China India um, we are also launching a candle line which is also going to be called giving and we are going to bring out the candle first and then we're going to launch the fragrance there's a PBS TV series coming out called the new faces of philanthropy and we have a one-hour episode in that and so I'm going to launch the fragrance with the PBS TV series in the middle of September and it's fabulous and you're all getting samples <laughs> oh, wow one hour of applause for that well, the coffee table book was launched already. Uh, it, it was launched in 2010. I think it, it was launched in Bombay in 2011. Um, it's already sold out. We uh, sold out the 50,000 copies and now Rupa Publications has approached me to do a, a second edition. Next week I'm going to Delhi to conclude the talks with Rupa so we're going to bring out the next edition. Uh, the coffee table book featured my journey with 75 charities. Shri Blair has written the foreword um, and it features many people, famous and non-famous, who are doing incredible things. And I also use the back pages as an opportunity to, to thank people in school. For example, Miss Halagua at the Cathedral School. Um, I, I really felt like I wanted to thank her. I wanted to thank Mira Isaacs from Cathedral School. There were certain friends of mine who, had, who were very just instrumental in my life. I put in those pictures. So I sort of um, used it also as a vehicle to give back, but also we raised a lot of money for the foundation through the book. They sold at $50 each, and some people took the books and sent the foundation even larger checks. So uh, it was just a very, very successful project. Well, I always say that my, my first role model is my mother. Yeah. She's, she's just outstanding. She, I think she's put the basic values of goodness into me. Um, I think uh, I was very happy that I met Mother Teresa so many times. My living role models are definitely Sheree Blair. I've traveled with her. She's just an incredible person. And I said this to someone earlier. She really taught me how sometimes you can't control everything. You have to sometimes let other people control things. And if you really are a, a strong individual, you'll be able to pull it back. I think Hillary Clinton is another role model of mine. And may I say this publicly, I hope she is the next president of the United States of America. Hmm. Well, I, I would second that. I mean, she said everything that, uh, you know, it's like words out of my mouth. Of course, my mother and... Uh, my grandmother as well, actually. I, I grew up and she brought me up. Uh, I spent a lot of my time and my mother was uh, busy also. And uh, just, just what I took from her was the simplicity, um, the, the, the beauty of the, the peace that she had and she taught me how uh, life could be and, you know, growing up, so many uh, different facets of life and how just to keep everything very pure and simple. And uh, I try to do that in my life. Uh, it's not that easy, but <laughs> I try. So, my role yeah. model. I think, uh, like, like them, my mother would be my role model, and and it would just be my mother, uh, because the 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 biggest thing I, I've learned from her is to be there for the people around you. Everyone flocks to my mother with their problems, and she's always just listening. And what I've learned from her is to listen when someone speaks to you or is speak, wants to share something with you. And there's so many other things, but that comes to my mind first to be able to listen to someone else. And I think my role model for that would be my mother. <laughs> well, in that listening, I think Kanika, we need to listen to you all. <laughs> Baby dog. Okay. <coughs> Maybe a bit of... We need some energy in the room, everyone! Sonne, sonne, patrolle, lakka! Sonne, sonne, patrolle! E patti di arrendi, akka! E 
ਮੈਂ ਤੱਕਦੀਆਂ ਰਹਿੰਦੀਆਂ ਮੈਂ ਕੀ ਦੱਸਾਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਵੇ ਐ ਚਲ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਤਰੀਫਾ ਹੋ ਮੇਰੇ ਹਸਨ ਦੇ ਕੋਨੇ 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 ਦੀ ਹੋ ਕੋਨੇ ਕੋਨੇ ਦੀ ਹੋ ਬੇਬੀ ਡਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਸੋਨੇ ਦੀ ਹੋ ਬੇਬੀ ਡਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਸੋਨੇ ਦੀ ਹਾਰ ਐਵਰੀਵਨ